This is a Neptune Ecoder R900 wireless water meter. It broadcasts industrial, scientific, and medical radio frequencies in the 902 to 928 MHz unlicensed band. The radio is a tenth of a watt and transmits for 7 milliseconds every 14 seconds, 24 hours a day. The manufacturer claims that it transmits for less than 60 seconds a day. But this is the same misleading spin electric smart meter manufacturers and deploying utilities apply. In many cases, a water department will collect data from an R900 once every three months. This means that the meter will pulse over half a million times in between drive-by readings. Let's examine these signals by using two different radio frequency meters. The first meter is a Tri-Field 100XE set to the radio microwave setting. Generally this is not an ideal tool for measuring RF because it is not very sensitive in this mode. In this case, because the pulses from the Neptune water meter are so strong, the Tri-Field is helpful to demonstrate. The second meter is a Cornet ED65 electrosmog meter. This meter is excellent for measuring RF between 100 megahertz and 6000 megahertz or 6 gigahertz. The histograph conveniently displays the last 20 seconds of measured data and is perfect for this kind of experiment. Let's begin. The tri-field meter on the left has a needle that jumps with each RF pulse. This will not provide precise measurements, but any movement does indicate potentially dangerous levels of RF. The cornet meter has a numeric readout, a bar display on the bottom, a color LED meter on the right, and a histograph, all of which show the pulses. This shows levels of about 800 milliwatts per square meter, or 80 microwatts per square centimeter. This is a lot of radiation. Backing up five feet, we can see the levels do drop, but are still very high for a living space, especially considering that this RF has no purpose whatsoever. The levels range between 1 and 3 milliwatts per square meter, or 0.1 and 0.3 microwatts per square centimeter.